What's going on, everybody? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Y'all. It's good to see y'all. So good to see y'all. The title of this is A Day with Stephen Hodges. <laughs> hey, I can't think of any. I'm looking for deer, y'all. There's deer out here everywhere. Uh, I can't think of any better way to start out a day with Stephen Hodges than my favorite. Are y'all ready? blood going, I don't know what's held you. <laughs> oh, man. Woo! I am ready to start my day now. I mean, if you're ever having a bad day, just go do some donuts. <laughs> it'll, it'll, uh, it'll bring it right on back. Right on back. I'm telling you, like, now I'm thinking what else I want to do. <laughs> Wouldn't rival me for nothing. Oh, come on now. You in good hands. <laughs> First hoodlum of the day. I take that. You ain't wrong. <laughs> I wouldn't hurt you for nothing. Good to see y'all this morning. Woo! It's a great day to be alive in Georgia, y'all. And today, we're going to do my favorite things to do. That's why I named it a day with Stephen Hodges. <laughs> so, what I like to do. Well, something I do like to do that I can't do. That's play good old music. My truck has a system in it and I got some bass. 
I got some bass under my seat right here. I'm trying to tell you, it'll put you in some kind of good mood. Daddy came to, Daddy came to town with me the other day and I had it on. And it was playing, uh, it was playing some country music and I got good. Oh, John, don't be giving it away now, John. I got, uh, I got, I had a good country music song on it. And I got real clear highs in here. And I got some bass, but I don't have that bass. I mean, it can be, but I like to have it set to where like it's just a good solid thump with some good clear music. And I'm telling you, woo, woo, daddy said, boy. That stereo is right. I said, do you like that, Hodges? He said, I like that. <laughs> oh, it's good to see y'all. It's so good to see y'all. And guess what? Uh, for, the, for the two people that sent me them bad messages, I just want to tell you, bless your heart. Bless your heart. I'm telling you, to go to all that trouble for little old me. <laughs> My hat's off to you because, I mean, I know I'm loved. Y'all do a great, great job being kind and sharing the content and thumbs up and phone calls messages and it's so so sweet i don't get to i ain't got around to opening them all because you don't you don't really understand it's a bunch but but people go to all that trouble for three pages of a hate letter <laughs> now buddy now that's dedication i mean well you are you are i was gonna say you're batting on the wrong team but you kind of are on my team, so, you know, I love you too. I mean, everybody, everybody needs to be loved. So, just know I love you. And I admire that uh, dedication, because, woo -hoo -hoo! like, the amount of feelings that went into that letter, you know, even though it's kind of mean, they, they said they wanted to slice my lips off, like my smile off my face, and I was like, "Woo, that's to a new level. That's like might love me a little too much. I mean, you know, I might like some wild things and all that, but come on now, uh, leave, leave, the, leave that at home." <laughs> Woo. All right. In my little old town, we coming to town. I'm gonna show y'all what we doing today. We're gonna do some things I like to do. I really like to do, like my favorite things. So, um, oh, I can't wait to show y'all. I can't wait to show y'all. This is what I. This was like if I could pick a day do what I want to do, my favorite things, what's what we're going to do today, so don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere, and it, it's a good thing, it's a good thing Mystery Man ain't with me, because Mystery Man, he wants to show the picture of the lady that sent this big long hate mail, well, you know, we have her picture, and Mystery Man wants to show her. Matter of fact, Mr. Man wants to make a whole episode on this lady. And I said, Daddy, don't do that. We already know she loves me. Let's just let that go. Daddy is like Grandma. They don't let it go. I know where I know where Mr. Man got it from now. <laughs> 
she said, I can't stand, I can't stand to see you pick hairs off grandma's shirt. It makes me want to throw up. And I'm like, <laughs> woo, boy. I still don't know what to think about that. Hey, I ain't giving her no glory. This is, hey, John, it's good to be loved. Well, let's see. I did, well, the letter writer, Elizabeth, she did send me a one, two, three, four, four-page letter. So, that's still the record. But old, old hater girl came in real close with three pages. Look at him, y'all. Woo, look at this. Woo. Woo. Hey, Dove Lynn. Hey, sweetheart. Good to see you, girl. Look, I can't stay in here long, y'all. Because we got to do a whole... We got to do a whole show of what I like to do. So we're going to make this quick. Here we go. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me right here? How about it? First deal of the day right here. Ooh, $750. Oh, Bentley's like that right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is this? What is that? Hmm. All right. Oh, they got pretty shirts, but this is what you do. This is what I do. I come on back here. They got a discount rack. Don't tell nobody. This is the discount bin. So you look in here and you find something you like. Ooh, that's on sale. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Oh, big daddy right here. Oh, monster. Mm. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a whole card of them. Eight ninety nine. Ninety nine cent a piece. Ooh. That's hard to pass up. Mm. Oh, what is this? Oh, a baby repel. Oh, them are pretty. They purple. Candy bug. $4.99. Ooh. That's what I've been needing right here. $2.99. Found a good deal. Sure. Take it easy, man. All right. Good morning. Pretty good. I found me a deal back there. What'd you find? Them right there. Two nine nine. $3.23. Not $3.20. Yeah. I mean, like, that's a good deal. Overspending. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, enter. Mm hmm Okay. Well, that's an ink pen right there now. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see. 
these cars. You went through, didn't you? Yep, you good to go. It's a good day. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I like that motorcycle. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like an ongoing joke with me. <laughs> In this town. When I run my, when I run my debit card somewhere, I always say, did it go through? And they like, yeah. I'm like, oh, good. <laughs> I don't know why, but like I do that my whole life everywhere I go. And like, I don't know, I can't help it. For one thing, uh, I think that happens a lot in this town. I know that motorcycle was bad. So let me show you what I had to do, country boy. I have to turn my key on. My key won't crank. So this is what I do. I got me a hot wire right here. I mean, like, this is the day with Stephen Hodges. I touch that right there. She cranks up. I mean, like, what? Somebody gonna steal this truck. They gonna be scratching their head. They can't, they won't be able to get it crunk. So, I don't know how to worry about locking this one. I just, uh, hey. Oh, my seat belt. So, oh, I found a good deal. Anytime you can buy fishing equipment half off, that's a good deal. And any day your card goes through, well, that's also another good deal. So, off to the next thing I like to do on a perfect day. Well, this ain't like, this ain't like perfect day thing but I gotta do this too so uh, just hang around so good to see y'all in there I still can't believe Miss Kathy won't ride with me somewhere girl we'll have a good time we'll have a good time I'm trying to tell you I ain't switching the truck off him morning. Let's see what kind of goodies we got today. Oh, it's a good day. Oh, man. I ain't never got this much loving. That's a bunch. bunch of love in the day. Oh, and I got a yellow card. Good morning. Not pull to the back. It's a good day then, ain't it? Here's my yellow card. Oh, another yellow card. Alrighty, I'll be here. I'll come around back. Right, come on in. <laughs> oh my goodness. They said you need to come around back. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Too much to tote. This can't be all mine. Oh, that's Mama's. Uh, Stephen Hodges. Mamas, Stephen Hodges, Stephen Hodges, oh, Grandma, Stephen Hodges, Mama and Daddy, Mr. and Mrs. Danny Hodges, oh, Stephen Hodges, oh, oh, so Mama is getting some letters, y'all, she's going to be tickled. 
My mama is the most simplest country living woman you ever seen. When I tell you, like, go to work, come home, put a nightgown on, do, do word search puzzles, watch Lifetime movies, uh, put Mr. Man in the headlock, that's her day. So, to be able to get letters that she can read, oh my goodness that is going to make her absolute day i know my mama real well mm. i gotta get these packages they said pull around to the back this ain't even what i wanted to do today I reckon I'm at the right door. Come in. Hey, man. Hi. I was telling him, hey, let me set the phone up. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to set the phone up. fixing to get back on my adventure just wait Gracious. Oh. Tell me, tell me they don't love grandma now. Y'all love y'all some grandma, don't you? I ain't even got no room. Oh my goodness, my tackle box turned over. Can't have nothing. Glad I stopped. Grandma wouldn't have been able to get all that. Oh, let me rephrase that. Grandma can do about anything she wants to do, so. But I like helping her. Like ain't really the word I want to use. I love helping her. All right. That was a small detour, but let's go. Let's go. Don't have to lock your door now. All right. So glad. 
so glad y'all tuned in today. Y'all don't forget to share and like and subscribe. Even though the mean lady said when I say subscribe and hit the thumbs up, she throws up in her mouth a little bit. <laughs> Man, that was for you, girl. See, I probably wouldn't even thought about it, but like now I'm thinking about it, so there you go. I got a list of things to do. We got to hurry. We got to hurry because I got, I got like the best of the best. Woo. That old Ford be paying off. Better watch for police mans. <laughs> y'all it's cloudy today cloudy today let me show y'all the river here's the river Woo! that baby's high and muddy it's high and muddy today I had a song I've been singing um, let me see if I can think of what it is. I've been singing it today. Oh, I see Mi Mr. John shared my post. Thank you, John. You are the man. And let me tell you, I seen your post pop up on Facebook yesterday of that wind spinner that I made and sent you. And let me just tell you, John, that thing, like I built it. And it was amazing. Like it when I seen it turning in your video, it just like re-amazed me. And couldn't have went to a better person. So, you know, thank you, John, for being the man that you are and not the dog I get accused of being. So, life's good. <laughs> Grandma said, Grandma said, who's that? You didn't have to run. I wasn't going to get you. <laughs> I let her go across the cross rock and she ran like she ran like her life depended on her. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did you never know about you like I think she knew me or something I don't know but <sighs> I tell you what it's it's a great day to be loved by y'all it really is and um, you know I can't really describe it other than I never knew I never knew love existed uh, outside of this town. You know, it, it, I'm sure y'all know your hometown, uh, there just ain't a whole lot of love in it. I don't know why I can't explain it. I love people. I love everybody. Even the woman that said she's glad my dog died, it done itself a favor. I mean, golly! She like brought out the big guns on that one. I was like, I had to take a break a second from reading it. And I looked at my daddy, I looked at mama. I was like, I don't know if I'd have said that one. That was pretty rough. That was pretty rough now. Like, you can call me fat slob, but, uh, but, I don't know, like, talking about my dog, I will get your skin up around here. Because, uh, we love our pets. <laughs> hey, I agree. I agree. Let's say a prayer right now for that sweetheart of a lady. 
Man, how would you like to be asleep? How would you like to be in her house asleep with her walking around? <laughs> oh, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. That ain't gonna happen. You seen misery where like the man that writes the good books is like laying in the bed, he's tied in the bed. Woman walks in there with the sledgehammer, breaks both his legs, says, God, I love you. Like, I don't want to be loved that bad. Just, I mean, I'm just saying. That's a little too much. <laughs> I mean, dang. That's a lot to think about. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that, moving right along, oh, this is my beautiful town right here, hey, there's a lot of good people here in this town, really are, there's a lot of business owners, um, there's a lot of good Christian people, there's a lot of churches, so, it really is a quiet, little town um, so you know it's pretty quiet and I got hiccups again so, and I'm fogging up the windows because I'm fluffy <laughs> oh man I'm telling you what Look, I need me a riding partner. I just got it all to myself. Got it all to myself. Oh, I forgot. We was going to pray for the lady. Uh, okay. Let me get pulled over because I don't want to close my eyes driving. I mean, like, you know, I don't want to make a good day turn bad. So, let me get up here. We're going to gonna say it. We're gonna have a moment of silence. <laughs> I tell you what, for like this close to the holidays, they ain't nobody in town. Like, let me show you. There's nobody in town. Not for it to be like, this is our main downtown where Walmart and the mall is. This is like, perfect day. Oh, come on over, buddy. Come on over, my man. Come on, man. Do it. Yep, perfect little town right here. Got my seat belt on. Let me show y'all one of my places I like to go when I'm feeling good, when I have a good day, when I like to splurge a little bit, which ain't very often. Uh, I splurge maybe one time every three months. Because I don't really need nothing. I got everything I want. Like, the simple things really, simple things really does do it for me. Please enjoy all food and drinks outside. That means I can't bring my drink in. Man, wouldn't you like to have a store and like tell people? Like, I tell you what, I ain't even gonna say what the store is. Hey, but if they feel like that, that like a grown-up can't bring a drink in there, hey, I reckon I'll go somewhere else. And I ain't even mad. I'm just saying, hey, they, they clearly too picky for me. My little simple self, I go somewhere else. So. Don't tell. Don't tell. If I had a store, I wouldn't. Uh, I don't think I'd be like, just my opinion. I think I'd be putting nothing on the doors like, like there's a rule already. I mean, like I understand no smoking, you know. But 
please enjoy your drink. <laughs> I'm on a hush. That's just my opinion. Everybody's got one. Everybody's got one. Hey, I can tell you this. Their sign cost them some business because I was going in there to buy. I'm like, I'm buying today. Just call me old fashioned, but I don't really like rules. I mean, I go by the rules because rules is important, but not when it comes to spending money. Like I went to a car lot one time to buy a car. The man said, you know I got to ride with you, don't you? I said, <laughs> I mean, like, hey if, you, hey, if you can handle it, by all means, let's go. Make it light on yourself, my man. <laughs> I mean, I said, just know. Just know. I'm spinning a wheel before I buy it. So, like, if you got a problem with that, let me know now. He had to ride with me. Bless his heart. Not only did I spin a wheel, but I cut a figure eight in the middle of the highway in that Corvette. And that dude was like, hey, 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 take me back to the dealership. Just take me back. You you can drive the car. Just I'm like, well I don't well I don't need to do it. I just need to see if it's been a wheel. <laughs> and the truth be told, I wouldn't have spun a wheel. But he agged it on. He made me mad. He made me mad saying he gonna uh, got a ride with me and I'm like done had four youngins and like paying my bills like everybody else okay alright let me show y'all this is this is the store look we are looking for a sign it says doors to remain unlocked during occupancy I don't see nothing about leave you drinking yeah, I'm going to pray. I ain't forget. I'm going to pray just as soon as I... But thank you for reminding me. Let's see. Hmm. I bet they want my business. Size 13. I'm talking about like. I got a shoe like a. I got a foot like a plow mule. Makes me run fast. Which I got a different color than that. Size of this oyster, hmm, that ain't bad. I can mess them up fishing real quick. Let me see. How long would them last? Two minutes. Hey, huh?
got some more on the other end. Down okay, thank you, sir. Right there. All right. Them are cute. That's probably what I need right here for fishing, because, God, dog, I'm rough on them. Oh, wait a minute. Clearance? What? Can't pass clearance up. I gotta hurry. Are you kidding me? Dang it, they are limbs. I need a bigger size. All right, I tried. Ooh. Oh boy, them are tough right there. This is light. Dang it. Hey, you know if you got this here in a 12. In a 12, you said? Yes, ma'am. might work but a 12. Yeah, I think all we got is 13. You got a 13? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me try it on. Let's see. What I need is one more hand. That's what I need. Yeah, I need a pill. got like a cork bottom. Four pairs of them gray ones, so. How you doing? How ready yourself? Good. She's getting my shoe. All right. She's getting me. Okay. She's bringing them. But, okay, but just, yes, ma'am, I'm ready. Okay. As soon as she... Just so. That's, a good, that's a good deal. They're comfortable socks. Ten pair for $10. Mm-hmm. There's like a dollar each, you know? Hey, and, it, and that's easy on laundry day when you're matching up. Mm-hmm. I don't mind doing, but see these right here? What's wrong? I say when you do laundry. Yeah. You always lose one. And like you gotta have an orange and green and green. Yeah, you could easily match them up. <laughs> That's the ones I lose in the uh, you should pair. washing machine. They good quality socks. Well, 
Not bad. I'm splurging today, but I'm still okay. on a budget. I got Christmas and everything. <laughs> I got yeah. you. I totally understand that. Ten pair for ten dollars. Mm -hmm. I better get them, honey. That's better than Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree's a one of twenty-five a pair. Yeah, and Dollar Tree socks ain't this thick. Right. Good quality socks. You talked me into it. <laughs> Now, Good deal. <laughs> I might have to do one less thing today. Hey, you need them. Let me feel it. You, you got them. I know. You twisted my arm. <laughs> I got to get it. Okay. You getting two pairs or just one? Y'all must keep one pair in the box. Yes, we do it to keep them. from, yeah, you pretty much say it, to keep people from shoplifting. Really? And inventory. Well, y'all probably got 2,000 pairs of shoes, don't you? I mean, at least on this place. I can understand it'd be hard to keep an eye on everybody. Yep. Hey, ain't this one get busy. Them tough right there, ain't they? Yes, I like them. Just can't, you can't have it dirty. You know how long they're going to be like that? When? Until I put them on, <laughs> and then it's over. It's not bad at all. Okay. I don't need a phone number, so you're going to earn you some reward points here. Hey, I can't put my phone number. Can you just maybe like a <laughs> makeup one, maybe? <laughs> just put yours in there. Oh, mine? Yeah. Okay. You can get the reward. Okay. <laughs> just bypass it, huh? Just bypass it? Mm -hmm. They're right Okay, it told us 4318. And then um, when they come oh, back, right. we'll ship it to right there. Oh, hey, look, there's a Rocky Creek booth down there. Or a mountain, something. Do you have it in a side screen? Everything. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm alive, so I can't put my phone number. I can't that, say it. Uh, oh, okay. So that's why. I got you. I got you. Now I'm not using my phone number. Okay, I got you. <laughs> Good deal. The, um, yeah. We couldn't put ours. Both have already been It's against the rule policy. Well, but you could have earned well, some extra points and stuff. All right. You have a good day. You too. All right, y'all. On to the next. See, I could have gave my phone number and just hit the jackpot. But can't do it. Show y'all this. Mmm, -hmm, ain't it cute? It's a good. Ooh, you can take your picture with Santa Claus. Oh God, there's a song. That's wonderful. Another video to be copyrighted. La da 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 da. Okay. Show you my next stop on my day. <laughs> as long as they don't have a sign on the door. come to get a hat. I come to show everybody where to get a hat at. I'm splurging today. So I'm having me a shop day. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Choices. And you're involved. You're covered in their blood. You smell the blood. You're right there. And hmm. that is a barrier that few people cross. And to do it once 
twice, three times, four times. Uh, this is a dangerous individual. Somebody Dr. Field giving it back. This person. Somebody out there works for this person. Somebody out there is a parent or a brother or a sister to hmm. this person. Somebody knows who this is. See Everybody what I mean about choices? It's like. And when people do something dramatic in their life, they tend to depart from that baseline. And you need to think about this. If you're listening to this right now. Let's see. If there's someone you know that's been in or around Moscow, Idaho. Lord have mercy. We're getting an educated. We're getting, we're getting Dr. Field lesson today. You're thinking. Truly, truly need to think about that. Was it something that had scared mm. them? Is that why she called her ex-boyfriend so many times? All right, I see one. Were they the, the middle one up there, Fieldstone. Any tips regarding this case? Okay. Which one? The light tan one right there. Seven, one, eight, eight, uh, eight, over eight, one. The other way. That one. That'll do me. Okay. You know, you can get two for 50. God, dog. This, or you can get a shirt. I'm, I'm just going to uh, keep it with this today. Okay. Uh, Debit. Debit. All right. <laughs> Get a shirt. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I don't have a money tree outside, so. Santa was such a light in my life. She was a person. You want to be? Losing her is the worst thing I've ever had to go through because I'm What happened to that paper? Somebody didn't put it in right. Well, you have a beautiful day. You too. Come back. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> so, you got to have... <laughs> so, you got to have new shoes. You got to have a new hat. And... We off to the next thing. We had a day with Stephen Hodges. Oh my gosh, there's music again. Let me go this way. And nothing like doing content with somebody else, getting credit. Another song. Let me go this way. Everywhere I go, there's music. <laughs> That's coming to town for you. New shirt, blue shirt, shoes. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, ZZ Top. That's right. That is a good one. Hey now. Oh, I found the way out. I gotta hurry. We got some more stops to make. Oh, you can sing in here. Boys, I hate to leave good company. But my baby called me on the phone. If I don't leave right now, whole place I'd burn down. Cause I live something turned on at home. <laughs> it ain't the stove, it ain't the heater. She's hotter and a whole lot sweeter. And all day long, she's been there alone. Look at this beautiful sight right here. Right now, her arms are open. Look at old Glory flying. So watch out, I don't wanna get run over out here. People's like, who's that crazy dude recording there? 
That'll be me. <laughs> Boy, somebody dials 911. I live something turned on at home. That was my principal. He has paddled me a time or two. He says, Steve, he called me Stevie. He says, Stevie, I sure hate to paddle you because you got one of the sweetest mamas I ever seen. But I said, it's okay. Just go ahead and get it over with. <laughs> he pulled my pants up until like gave me a wedgie. He said, I turned around and looked at him. I said, is that it? <laughs> he just, he laughed. He's supposed to give me three licks. I made him laugh. And he said, just, I can't just go back to class and do right. I, said, <laughs> I, just, I can't help it. Like, I just feel like. I can't help it. He just like paddled me. And I mean, I just, I asked him, was that it? <laughs> All right, y'all. I didn't say is that the best you got. I didn't want to make him mad. I just want to make him laugh. Got to crank my truck up. Ooh, on to the next thing. With a day with Stephen Hodges. Couldn't even paddle me. Oh, he paddled me, but I actually forgot to tell Mama about that. So I actually think Mama like got me out of the paddling. So let me tell you what I done to get to paddling, okay? Uh, they like walk us. I don't know for some reason that week we was getting our lunch and uh. We was getting our lunch and having to go back to the classroom to eat it in the class. And you know, who wants to do that, you know? Everybody wants to sit, uh, everybody wants to sit with their friends in the lunchroom, but we had to go back to class. And I was like, uh, but I'm like real hungry and thirsty, you know? So what I did is, um, uh, <laughs> what I did was I some of my hair right I drank my milk like standing in line to pay for it so like my milk was gone and then we still had to walk back to class so uh I gotta put my seatbelt on too dang it there's always so much to do but uh I put my I closed my milk back up and folded it back up and I put it on the floor while we was walking back to class. You know, they made out of cardboard and I stomped it. <laughs> I'm telling you, when I stomped that milk carton, that thing even scared me a little bit. Like, it was a little too good. I was like, oh man, like the teacher the teacher didn't like that a whole lot. The teacher, like, oh, uh, she didn't think that was funny. And I was just like, man. She's like, Steven, go on to the office. You already know why. And I was like, but come on. It was just a milk carton. You know it sounded pretty cool. She's like, out of service for your convenience. She's like, but this is where I got her. I went to the office. I went to the office. But I was. But before I did, I was like, now you know that was good. I said, go on and say. I said, go on and say, you know that was good. She's like, and I made her admit it. She's like, yeah, that was a pretty good one, but you can't be doing that. So, do I got a date? No, I don't got a date. Do you got somebody in mind? Little Missy? 
My schedule's wide open. Let me hush. For the woman that really loves me gets back on here. She said, that's all I think about. <laughs> and actually, that's not true because I don't wash clothes, fold the clothes, wash dishes, swept the floor, clean the house, put all my laundry away. I ran out of something to do and I was like, hey, let's go to town and make a day. Hold on, I got to order. This is my favorite stop. Yeah, let me get a large cherry limeade. Alright, a large cherry limeade you think I'm for? With extra cherries. That's That'll do it. Okay, give me 366. Woo! Okay. ones up there playing music. It is merry season. It is. Thank you. We'll race your order out to you quickly. So this is Sonic. I love. I love their cherry limeades with extra cherries. It is so good. And I probably should have got this first because I could have been sipping on it even though I couldn't take it in the store over there. So you know and they might want to really think about that store and that sign you know <sighs> you have a sonic here well oh you like it oh dang that was like <laughs> that was like a mer what in the world how are you i mean i don't know what my wind is doing Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. You too. I mean, that was a murder. I was like, they ain't never got me my drink that quick. <laughs> Woo! Can't have nothing. Can't have nothing, but I got me a big old cherry limeade. Oh my gosh, if you just only knew. That would change your life, I'm just saying. Four dollars, but you know, I picked my battles. I didn't get no dota dots. Uh, hey, all seriousness. Cherry lime made of the bomb. You got that right. In all seriousness, you know, I'm gonna pray for the for the sweet lady that almost broke my all personal best on fan mail letters. Elizabeth, you still number one, girl, for your letter. Thank you. That letter was touchy, too. Like, like that's so much came over me during her letter. I didn't even realize it. You can go back and watch it. It's called The Letter. Um, <laughs> you never know when something can flip a trigger in your heart and touch you. And it really touched me. So, but the, the old three-page girl, even though it was hate mail, we finna say a prayer for you, and we're gonna say a prayer for everybody, and then we're gonna get this show on the road. Are y'all ready? Here we go. Hey, don't talk about my four-wheeler hair now. Daddy says, son, don't get on there and play with your hair. I'm a Hodges, like, don't tell me because we're my Hodges. Because it's like something about it. It's in our DNA to, uh, I don't want to say rebel because I'm a good boy, but, uh, can I tie a knot with you? I, yeah, I can't do the whole knot with my tongue thing, but that is pretty cool. But anyway, all right, we got to get serious just a minute and then we got to get this show on the road. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for a beautiful day. A beautiful, beautiful day. 
I get to share with the beautiful people that you created. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the kindness. Thank you for the positivity. Lord, thank you for just having your hand on my family. Thank you for the YouTube family and the sweet little old lady that sent the bad letter. Lord, please open her eyes. Like, touch her soul. Soul, give her peace and joy. Nobody should feel bad this time of year, Lord. We, we know, you know all your children. You know every hair on our head. I just want to come to you and say thank you, thank you for being so good, kind. Heal our sweet, sweet loved ones, the sick, the cancer patients, Lord, sickness, people that's lost loved ones, the people that's spending Christmas alone. Please, thank you, thank you. Touch them and amen. Woo! Man, I'm telling you what, I, I've been waiting to do that since I started the video because of uh, old girl. Man, that all the presents back here. Look at this. Grandma ain't going to know what to do. All right. A day with Stephen Hodges. Let's go. Man, I'm telling you what, I done got it fogged up in here. Woo! Telling you what? Oh man, let me put my seatbelt on. Come on now. Just taking advantage of me because I got one hand. Man, I almost got misty eyed on y'all. It ain't hard to do like when you, when people's so kind to you and touch you and make a difference in your life, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to be loved, I'm telling you. I see the text in there. No, the, the personal best for the letters is Elizabeth still. She's in number one with four pages. And I had a hate mail come. <laughs> she was three pages. She was close now. It was a close run, but that's who we prayed for. We prayed for everybody, really, y'all. Hey, I'm like joking about it. Um. It is, a, it is a serious matter. Uh, especially like if you were to go to sleep around her. Good thing I'm not. Good thing I'm not. But anyway. Just the day was... Let me tell you what. This right here is a... This is a four... This is two, two lanes. Alright? And it's 35 zone. So... How hard is it to like? 40? It's easy to get a ticket right here, y'all. When it be a four lane, it make you want to get her done, and but you like got to go 35, so. That's like, just tricking you, or whatever. I don't know. Hey, it's a pretty road, though. Just got to go through. <laughs> Man, like it's it's a beautiful time of the year, y'all. You know everybody's Christmas shopping and um, everybody's Christmas shopping and buying gifts and Mama, I heard her say she was done shopping. You seen all that we wrapped the other day? Them Georgia troopers love Stephen. Look now, I've only got one ticket. 
one ticket. And that's because I was talking to Grandma Helen. And I even told the guy, I said, I'm talking to my grandma. He's like, okay, here's your ticket. Have a good day. I was like, okay. <laughs> so like when I paid the ticket, I did pay it. I paid it. I paid them like $10 extra. And I was like, just give that to the officer because, hey, he must need it pretty bad. I ain't never had a ticket. He got gave me one talking to my grandma. And I did. Gave him a ten dollar tip. <laughs> Guess what? They like mailed me my ten dollars back. And with a handwritten letter that said we can't accept tips. Uh <laughs> I was like, well dang, that didn't go to plan. You know, you gotta have a little you gotta have a little humor in it. So I don't know. Gotta have a little humor. You know what? Life's short, and I was saying something I completely forgot about. That happens with a Hodges. In case you don't know us by now. Ooh, they's over there building that. Somebody's working. Christmas is all about the birth of Jesus, and. You know, the program that I went live with yesterday, my little nephews was in the program. They was little stable boys with the cowboy hats. You know, it was so beautiful. It was a beautiful message. And the three wise men, you know, they brought myrrh, gold, and hold on a minute. Myrrh? Gold, and I can't remember what the stuff, sapphires. Uh, somebody help me. What did the third wise man take Jesus? Frankincense. That's it. Look at Chris, uh, Charlotte, sweet Charlotte with the wind. That's right. And you know what? Thank y'all. Oh, there's more people got it right. Sorry, I just seen sweet, sweet little Charlotte that I want to dance with to come in first. We a dance girl. I'm telling you what. Uh, oh, yeah, get back. See what I mean? That's a Hodges straight. The little stable boy brought the best gift of all. He says... I brought me, Lord. I give you me. That's all I have to give. Oh, Lord, that was what a message. You know, that was... Um, what a beautiful message. And let me tell you how it come about, y'all. Me recording the concert... Don't worry, we headed to my next favorite spot. Uh, my little nephew called Five, okay? He said, he said, uh, Stephen, uh, what, I'm in the, um, uh, I'm in the Christmas play at church, and I, I want you to come watch me, and you, um, uh, you famous on YouTube and I want you to <laughs> I want you to record my play so we, we can be famous. I said, man, I want Missy. So y'all, he's sweet. I recorded it for him. And he was up there just, just a grinning. And afterwards he come up to me and he said, uh show? I said, I did, baby. I did, and a lot of people's gonna see it. He said, <laughs> oh, he was so tickled. It's so cute. Uh, so cute. That's my sister's two boys. 
speaking of sister. Let me tell you this. Like, after the little concert they done, the Christmas play, they had finger foods. And let me tell you, that's a church I hadn't been to. And but my sister goes there and uh, me and mama went, grandma went, Helen, White, George, the one and only Queen of YouTube. We went and I'm telling you, there was people there that watched. So that woman's come walking up, she had a little oxygen, uh she had a little oxygen thing on with a cane. She come up to me, she said, Ooh, Steve. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, honey, I want to hug your neck. I said, boy, you, you sure can. I didn't know her now. She, she said, I want to hug your neck. I said, well, you can sure do it. She said, the way your grandma, I just want to look at that and rub off. You must watch our show, she said. Honey, yes, I do. And I ain't even gonna tell you that I ain't miss one, but I like what you do. So it made my day. Um, Grandma. What? It made. Grandma made her day. So, that was pretty. Oh, am I back? Did I lose y'all? Are y'all back? All right. I sure hope I don't lose y'all. Oh, good. They working. They done put a new boat ramp in. Look how pretty this is. And they got new rocks right here. Let me, uh, I don't want to get too far down the bank because I don't want to lose service. But we just doing, we doing a day with Stephen Hodges. I got new Shoes. I got a new hat. I got a cherry limeade. Oh, cherry limeade. It's in the truck. Oh, my goodness. Come on, baby. Where are you at? Come on, baby. I know you in there. Come on, give me one. Give me one right quick, like. Y'all, what's the chances of catching that? Being live. What is the chance? Come on, get on. 
Oh, y'all hang with me just a minute. Just a minute. He, oh my shoe come off. He got me hung up. All right, I'm back. Come on, girl, why ain't gotta do this to me? You know I still love you. Come on, baby. I know you're in there. Oh, come on. One more time. Oh, man. I thought it was going to happen, y'all. I thought that was it. So good, y'all. This thing's being ugly right here. Um, uh, you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about my cherry limeade in the truck. You know what else I'm thinking about? The woman that sent the hate mail said I need a bra. Cause I was a, <laughs> I was a fat slob. Yeah, feels good to be loved. Come on now. Just one for the video. Just one for the video. Come on. Are you kidding me? All right, y'all. Well, if I had longer to fish, 
I'm sure I could catch one. But, don't want to bore y'all out. With a day with Stephen Hodges. Got a little boom in my big truck. I'm gonna mm, turn it up. You knocked you on the mud. Mm -hmm. I just need somewhere to put my phone always. <clears throat> Shake it for the young bucks down in the honky tones for the DJ playing it all night long. <sighs> All right. There is a story about There is a story about this piece of concrete right here. Uncle William was down here. They was a guy like uh oh hey bear paws oh what is it i'm missing something shake it for the birds shake it for the bees shake it for the down even the green that's what i'm talking about uh so uncle william was down here and they was a bunch of people down here having a get together or something i don't know but there was a guy looking around this piece of concrete and got shot like um and like he he didn't make it and uncle william was here for that that's crazy ain't it so Let's go fishing, Stephen. Hey, I will. I just don't want to burn y'all out on it. It's so beautiful. Like the river's muddy. The river's muddy. And I was kind of fishing up here on this top of this hill so I didn't lose service. But I feel like I could throw right all up around that bank. And I believe I can get one. So... Yeah, I got a picture of the woman. I sure do. Uh, I'm trying to hold Mr. Man back. Mr. Man. <laughs> Mr. Man like wants to lay down there in the mud and get dirty. Uh. <laughs> Daddy like. I was like, Daddy, we can't do that. Daddy wanted me to read it on him. I was like, Daddy, we can't do that. And, uh. He was like, we sure can. <laughs> oh, let me show you my hat right quick before I go. Right. Let me show y'all. Shake it for the young bush, shake it for the... Ooh, them right there tough. I like them. They won't last very long. But if you just tuning in, show you got today on my on my day of shopping. Got me a hat. Look at it. Got me some shoes. Oh, that kind of matches. Is it important that you had any shoes match? Um, I got me. 10 pairs for ten dollars because y'all talked me into it all because so socks shoes a hat and cherry lime made y'all that's so good all we missing is uh all we missing is uh some good old music and a dancing woman.
No, I'm done that. Scotch guard your hat to keep it clean. Hey, I don't know what that means. Somebody like, somebody send me a message and like tell me what Scotch garden it means. I can't get the tag off. So new hat, new shoes, a drink. You get all the shit up. Let's go. Don't forget my drink. Danny wanna <laughs> ain't never look at this my wind ain't never done that in his life there's a suitcase side of the road <laughs> let's go look just for the heck of it just because grandma wouldn't pass it up man that's like good luggage Are you kidding me? Does the zipper work? Oh, I see. The zipper's tow up. Man, I thought I done like hit the jackpot. <laughs> it, it wouldn't bother me to drop it being pink. I'd roll that bad boy around. Wouldn't be to tear me nothing. I'd be like, yeah. Found that.
Got it on. Hey, that that would have made a that you could would have made a beautiful doll house. That was pretty. That was pretty. I thought I had hit. I thought I had hit the jackpot. Show sure up. You never know. They the saying, one person's trash is another person's treasure. <laughs> making a detour on today's agenda just want to tell y'all right quick like look at this look at this guess where we at y'all oh I smell something I was driving it like I stole it. <laughs> Let's go see somebody. Ooh, look at this old car right here. Ooh, look at that right there. So, I came to see Uncle William, and guess what? I got me a surprise. He ain't home. So, dang it, dang it. Well, I got my drink, I got my drink. This an old truck right here, old, uh, old oldie. Y'all, uh, <laughs> hold on, let me call William. You better hurry. I've been watching his videos, too. It's so good to see y'all. Is there anything I missed that y'all need to run back over me? I seen something earlier when I was driving. <laughs> hey, Dublin and Spa Diva. Good to see y'all. Granny's filming again. Crazy for Jesus. John Ray. Chef Cat. Glenda. Uh, hey, Leanne. Goofy, too. All right, all right. Hey, Fawn. Rusty Bucket. I know. I could have fished longer. I didn't want to burn y'all out. Uh, it's done been proven I can make a six-hour live fishing and not have a problem with it. I think... Uh, Mr. Man said, don't ever fish again. He said, uh, hey, Ellen Kelly, not yet. Not yet. I have them sitting on the table. I'm trying to get boxes. They, they, them banks is an odd size, and I've ordered boxes. I'm waiting on them to come in. Okay, so don't give up on me. I promise, uh, I have them. I have probably 50 projects built waiting to ship. And uh, I'm just waiting on them odd boxes. They're 15 inches tall and 8 inches wide. So, um, yeah, and the boxes I have, the boxes I have won't work. So I had to order some. And, you know, I'm just waiting on them to come in. So please be patient. Don't be a, uh, mad at me. 
There's Monique. Oh, is Miss Holly Clements in? Hey, Miss Holly. Oh, Miss Glenda said, I have a truck similar to that. Late father-in-law's. All right. Hey, Diane Stevens. Yep, Miss Holly Clements is in there. Hey, girl. Oh, oh, you ready to go fishing again? We had a good time, didn't we? I don't know. S.L. Hudson. Cheryl Smith, Spa Diva. Patched the corner of my... I had to patch the corner of my back house so bigger. Get taken by her. Uh-oh. I hope it wasn't messed up, Spa Diva. You did get your back house. Thank you, Peggy. Yeah, me too. I got them ordered. I had a red one. I hear you. My daddy has a 56 Chevy. All right. Can you clarify that it wasn't me that wrote the main letter? Oh, yes. Y'all, Elizabeth Clements did not write the bad letter. No, no, no. She wrote, she wrote the beautiful letter um, that had us all crying that day. No, this is a new woman. Oh, I'm sorry, Spa Diva. I'm telling you, that stuff gets thrown around real bad in the mail. No, sweet Elizabeth wrote the beautiful letter. I just only said she had she held the record on the longest letter. So, uh, my bad if y'all thought if y'all thought that any different of that. Yeah, she is a professional letter writer. That's way below her. I agree, Rusty Bucket. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Oh, her and Miss Holly, sweet. They beautiful souls. <laughs> oh, I got my bank and made a picture of it. Uh, chest that I won, I've got to say. Oh, I couldn't read it all. I couldn't read it all. Hey, Ellen Kelly, okay. All right, sweetie. Thank you. Totally sweet letter. It was totally sweet. All right. Uh, Tony Z, you have a good day. Thank you for watching. And uh, thank y'all for watching. I'm going to go myself. Y'all have a beautiful day. Enjoy the video on a day with Stephen Hodges. It's just a few things I like to do uh, every now and again when... I splurge a little on myself. I don't do it a whole lot, but because I'm pretty happy. I don't really have to have nothing, but y'all have a beautiful day, and I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video, y'all. Bye-bye. All righty.